everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome back to another tech unboxing on Joanne Tech Lover. I've got something very awesome for you today. This is by Nixus or Nixius or as Joe would say, Nixius, but I think it's Nixius. Anyway, this is the, their um, View 27 inch IPS LED backlit 2560 by 1440 display. And this is display port only, which means, well, I suggest that you go out and build yourself a whole new system to support it. Just kidding. They have other models available, but no, really, I, I would go build that system. Here's some of the stuff that's included in the box. So we're missing two packs of screws, the base and the stand for the monitor, but it's currently assembled. I have to disassemble it and then show you how to put it back together. Um, and what's not included in the box is this Logitech mouse. It's very like small, very sleek, sexy. As well as this Mac mini. And I know what some of you are thinking, I hate Mac, you know, death to Macs. However, I think Nixius was uh, very kind to loan me uh, this Mac mini because this, then I can show you the 2560 by 1440 40 display as I don't have a current system that can drive that resolution, unfortunately. But just gotta build that new system, right? Alrighty, now on to the other accessories. Uh, this is the um, warranty. I believe it's for two years. You also get this guide showing you what's included in the box as well as how to put it together. Very straightforward, but I will show you anyway. And as to the cables, you get a display port to display port cable, gold contacts, nice little touch there. You also get mini display port to display port for uh, Thunderbolt devices. It's also compatible, you know, with Mac, with PC and other devices that uh, support this. Now, last but not least, you get this uh, power cord as well as power brick to power the monitor. And these are very necessary. Alrighty, here's the rest of the parts that come in the box. Of course, you have the monitor itself. Quite a little hefty piece here. I'll show you the other side and once we plug it in and all that. But this is the back side of it. You do get some ventilation holes up top and bottom. Some here as well. And here is the visa mount. So I believe it's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And this is where the neck will go. So also on the back, you can see this kind of textured finish. It's kind of interesting. Would, it's, would you say it's kind of like helixy looking? Hmm, maybe. Alrighty, and the ports are also here, but I can show you that one. So uh, we do a, a 360 of the monitor. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the other parts such as the neck. Now the neck, here is the area where you mount uh, to the back of the monitor. You just um, match up the four points with the four points on the monitor. And the bottom is where it attaches to the base. And you'll see a, uh, a similar pattern on the base of the monitor, which is right here. This is what the base looks like. On the other side, it is like solid like metal here, very awesome. You also get some arborized feet to help keep it in place. And here's the pattern where you will put the four screws. Alrighty, so last but not least, we have the screws. So you get a packet of long screws for the long neck, as well as a packet of short screws for the base. And that is how I remember it. So let's go ahead and put it together. Let's get to installing. I would recommend installing the neck first before the base because you'll have to do this balancing act because it gets heavier as the base is included. Um, so we've already included one screw on here so that it's stable and it won't be so hard and awkward for me to screw in the rest of them. So you will need a trusty screwdriver as well as this long screw that I was talking about earlier. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get the rest of it screwed in. I usually do the uh, crisscross method so that it is more stable and more uh, just straight, so. Alrighty, let's assemble the base. Just make sure to match up the holes with the ones on the base. And this part's a little easier because it just kind of stays on there. So it lets you screw it in. Awesome. Now you're gonna take these short screws here and we're gonna go for the crisscross pattern again. Alrighty, wish I could see this a little better. There we go.
Once again, this is a 27 inch IPS display. It's LED backlit, and um, this is quad HD, which means um, it's four, it has four times as many pixels as a 720p HD TV video standard. And uh, you get a display resolution of 2560 by 1440, which makes sense, and 16-9 aspect ratio. It's got a glossy display, as you can see. Very bright and shiny, which isn't my thing, but some people might be into the glossy display look. Um, and it's got edge-to-edge uh, -edge plasma infused glass. This is to help reduce reflection. Um, and it has 3.6 million pixels to deliver high quality sharp pictures as well as support 16.7 million true colors with 100% sRGB color gamut. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and just keep spinning this so I can talk about some of the uh, other specs while we go along. So it's got six millisecond response time, gray to gray. For you gamers out there, um, you might have a gripe with it, but uh, I believe eight milliseconds and below, you shouldn't see too much of a difference, um, like in terms of ghosting and all that. Low response, response time means less chance of ghosting. Um, and maybe for those of you who do use 2K, 4K monitors, you might see it slightly, but I believe most people should be okay with a uh, six millisecond response time. Now, as to the refresh rate, 60 hertz, and that is not to be confused with FPS because frames per second is how fast your graphics card can output individual frames each second. Now, refresh rate has to do with your monitor, how many times per second it can refresh the screen. So if you have uh, an FPS that is higher than the refresh rate tearing may occur, so you could always fix that with VSync, but I believe some people are um, actually against doing that by capping both the FPS and the um, hertz. Alrighty, now last thing, native contrast ratio, a thousand to one, and basically what that is is just the difference between the darkest black and the whitest white on the monitor that it can reproduce. Now the whitest white in this case is a thousand times brighter than the darkest black if you um, wanted a quick explanation of that. And 1001 is pretty fair. And if you see an inflated number of like 80 million, please go ahead and ignore that. <laughs> Here are the uh, two ports on the monitor. You have the full display port right here. And, and you know, there is actually a benefit to having just one display input is that um, you get less input lag. Some people can't notice it or don't, but if you have a 4K monitor, you just might. And here is your power port, and that takes care of it for the ports. Let's turn it around and take a look at the front buttons. You'll notice some physical buttons on the bottom of the uh, labels, and those buttons actually don't do anything, especially the ones to the left, because this is display port only. You can only access the power, the brightness adjust, and there is a reset button. So, um, because it's display port only, there is no menu to configure your settings, such as color, contrast, and um, all that stuff. However, you can control all the settings directly from your video card software, so go ahead and take a look at that. Now to show you height, tilt, pivot, and swivel. This monitor has it all, folks. Alrighty, so she is not only beautiful, but she is functional. Let's turn it to the side so you can see it better. So this is the side. The first thing we're going to do is going to raise the height. So simply push your monitor up or push it down. Not too hard though, just gently. And we're going to leave it up so I can show you a few of the other features, such as swivel. So we're gonna swivel this direction and swivel the stand this way, so you know exactly how it works. Now, since we're on the back here, let me show you the tilt. So you get 15 degree tilt forward and backward, and uh, just a little bit of force will do, not too much. I just push it forward. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And then we're gonna tilt it back. Oh, it looks like a sad, sad monitor. Alrighty, and then we're gonna take one moment. <laughs> uh, push it back, tilt it back, I mean and show you what that looks like. And now, it is a proud, proud monitor. Last but not least is the 90 degree pivot of this monitor so you can use it in portrait mode. This is super cool, by the way, because I don't know too many monitors that can do that, but I'm sure some can. Alrighty, make sure this is in tilt so that you have enough room to pivot it all the way. And here we have it, 90 degrees folks and in orientate in portrait mode and you can just untilt it to get it straight but haha -ha, she's a beauty
So first up, let's get a look at the brightness adjust. I have, I believe, on the uh, darkest setting right now. I'm going to go ahead and brighten this up for you. Just look at it. Look at it. Keep looking very carefully. You'll notice the waves changing color, right? Or am I colorblind? I'm not sure. But it should be changing. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now that we have it on bright setting, I'm going to go ahead and use the mouse and uh, go to the video that I placed on here. We're going to play this time-lapse video. This is 2560 by 1440 um, in a split screen so you can see it in the brightest as well as the um, darkest mode on this monitor. So let's get started. It's time for pros and cons. So what do I love about it? 27 inch, perfect for where I'm sitting on the desk. And um, what else? I do like that it is 2560 by 1440, as I don't see too many 2K monitors out there. It's mainly what 1080p, and the newest one's 4K, which is definitely even slimmer market. But it's just a really nice uh, perk, right? And I also like that you get, um, uh, actually, this is an LG panel, by the way, um, which means quality. Well, I really like LG panels. Uh, um, and it is an IPS display, which means that you get wide viewing angles up to 178 degrees, as well as you get really good color reproduction. And this is 100% sRGB, so it's really awesome. And one last thing that I really do like about it is all the options you get. You get height adjust, you get swivel, um, you get pivot to you know vertical orientation, and you also get tilt. So this is this is where the money's at. And now for the cons, because of course following pros have to be cons, all right? What I don't like about this monitor, first of all, is it is extremely glossy. So you can see fingerprints just, you know, just lifting it and, you know, just maybe swiveling it. Anyway, so basically what I have to do is like, <gasps> wipe, wipe, wipe. That's, that's exactly what I have to do to get rid of it. <laughs> or I guess you could use a monitor cleaner, right? Um, and I, aesthetically, it's not bad, but I do enjoy like a nicer looking base, like the sundial stand from the MX279H. And, uh, what else is that? Would have liked a thinner bezel actually, because this is kind of thick at like about an inch or so. Would have liked to see maybe half of this all around. And would have liked to see more um, display inputs, such as maybe DVI, VGA for those who need the compatibility, um, although then you wouldn't be able to drive 2560. Anyway, that's rambling. <laughs> um, and HDMI would have been just nice. So then maybe I could use a system that I do have that supports it. Um, and really, uh, it's it's a really good monitor. I would totally recommend it because I there was a time when 2K monitors sold for like seven eight hundred bucks. So for like you know four hundred bucks, this unit is just incredible. It's so versatile. I would totally recommend it. So there you have it. Well, that wraps it up for this unboxing on the uh, Nixius 27-inch IPS LED backlit 2560 by 1440 monitor. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You found it informative, a little funny. You know, I just like to bring the Joanne flair. <laughs> Alrighty, um, <laughs> if you like what you saw and you want to see more, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like, and comment because I do like to hear what you have to say and I do my best to respond to you. And you know, YouTube is being a funky monkey right now because it's deleting some of my responses to you. So don't think that I didn't respond to you. I just wanted to let you know. Anyway, what else is there? Please go ahead and follow me on social media if you would like. Joanne Tech Lover on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Joanne Food Lover, Twitter. And twitch.tv slash whaletune where I stream weekly with Tim. Our main game of choice or our poison is wow. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and start doing some wow uh, tutorials, guides on my channel as well for those of you who are new players who are interested in to see what wow is all about. And that's World of Warcraft, in case you guys didn't know what WoW was. I just call it WoW because it's short. <laughs> One last thing is just that uh, please help donate so that you can help expand this channel and feed this techie because I am starving. <laughs> that uh, concludes this video and hope to see you again in my future videos as well as this one. I love you all very much. Mwah.